What if one day the good Lord tells his age just to write on the epitaph on your tombstone, not used up? What dreams, what hopes will die with you? What ideas will die with you? Books or songs or apartments or ministries or businesses or empires or movements could be your men to clean up Nairobi River with the passing on of Wagari Madai. Could be your men to preserve the elephants in this country. Could be your men to add some value to the pygmies of Congo. Could be your men to bring the cure for HIV AIDS. Could be your men to bring the cure for all cancerous diseases. You are a thought away from becoming a millionaire. You are a thought away from your dream home. You are a thought away from your dream business. You are a thought away from discovering the cure for HIV AIDS. Everything was an idea. Let me change one of your paradigms. A lot of you believe a company is the people. Everywhere I've gone, I've heard people saying the company is the people. You know, at least the people who are testing on one, they know the company is not the building, correct? But at least most of you believe the business is the people. Can I change your paradigm? You are wrong. Those people can die and the business goes on. Mm. Miriam, you work for KCB. KCB is about 100 years old. The guys who began died. KCB continues. <laughs> Correct? Yes. So what is KCB? I tell you today, it's an idea. It's an idea. Since one one life club is not Kenyan Jewy. It's an idea. We have lit the fire, we have released it. If today I die, the Lord forbid, this movement will continue. You are a thought away from your prosperity. And the Bible says he is well able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all we can ever ask, think, or imagine. What are you thinking? Some people are thinking nothing, so what can God do? <laughs> if you are thinking nothing and it is multiplied, you get a nothing. Suppose we go 200 years ago. What would you lose? Would you be having that phone? Would you be having those clothes 200 years ago? Would we be having electricity? Internet? 200 years ago was there a car? The first plane was discovered in 1903. And all these things were ideas in people's minds. What are you thinking? Ask your neighbor, what are you thinking? What are you thinking? What are you thinking? What are you thinking? Think, think, think. Tell them, think, think, think. Now, I have some good news for you. In the course of life, I found a doctor who can do a mite transplant. He said, let this mite be in you that was also in Christ Jesus. This is the only doctor who said he can remove your mind and give you a new mind altogether. If you're willing to take it, this is my word for you. You have tried it your way, you have failed. Trust his word. Let this might be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. No other doctor ever made that claim. I don't have a story of a hen that was able to steal the egg of an eagle. And she sat on her eggs together with the egg of the eagle. They incubated, and after a few days, they all hatched out. The other were chicken, one was a neglect. They laid together, they grazed together, they fed together, they slept together. Occasionally, an eagle would appear in the air and they would all go to hide together. But one day, clear blue sky, the mother eagle showed up and made a certain voice that made the young eaglet unconsciously to begin to gain altitude, instantaneously and unconsciously it regained its ego status. Could be I'm the voice of the mother ego. Sent to tell you to get out of the ground. You're not a chicken. You are meant to rise up like an ego and dwell amongst us. The voice of greatness is calling you. Rise up to what you are meant to be.